Arthur Morgan is covered in blood. That bear mauling was pretty epic uh, and horrible. I would not want to be mauled by a bear. But we do have the legendary bear. Another thing that I strongly suggest that you guys learn how to do and well is to feed Arthur. And I know it seems really goofy that I say that, but you need to watch very closely. As you can see down um, his cores, as you see, it's almost his heart is almost empty, which is why, as I get off and I'll, I'll stand here, he looks tired, he looks weak. But if we go ahead and um, eat a can of food, it's gonna help our cores get up. He's a little better. Let's get our cores all the way up. And this eating food is something extremely big in this story so definitely fill up on food there now he's doing better he uh, isn't stooped over as much all right I'm gonna take you guys to the trapper now one nice thing about the trapper is that he will make you unique clothing that you cannot buy at any stores so if you're big into that personally I have only um, I have only created one unique outfit uh, but if that's something you guys like do it I'm just gonna take you to the trapper and just because that is where one of the trappers is right there we have Valentine right there and uh, of course you can find it on the index of your map as well. Here we are at the trapper. Hello. One thing I do you know want to parts, one thing I do want to, to point out is that this um, guy can make anything for you. Oh, I know those scars anywhere. Looks like Parati met his match at last, huh? My congratulations. Thank you. All right. Well, here is something that I was very confused about before. Now, I thought, okay, I have the legendary thing. If I want to make something out of the legendary bear, um, why wouldn't I just keep it myself, right? But you actually have to sell it to him. And by selling this uh, pelt right, and his look. claws and all this, all this stuff to him, then you will be able to, well, number one, gain some money, but then he will be able to have that stuff to sell back to you. Boy, the so we're things go I can make with this. Exactly like he said, the things he can make with this. And of course, you can sell stuff. Um, I would strongly suggest not to sell meat here because he actually doesn't give you much money at all for your meat. All right, so you can sell, um, and let's actually, let's go back in and let, let's try All buy. To measure. All right, we're gonna do garment sets. The bear hunter. Now as you see, this is the bear we just killed. By selecting it, you can see we can actually get the legendary bear headpiece for $40. Now, uh, if you guys are interested in me wearing this headpiece uh, in certain times of the playthrough, let me know, and I can do that for you. But I'm just showing you the different things that can be made with uh, all this bare skin. Super cool. And as you see down here in the left um, hand, left hand side of the screen, the bottom part of the screen, you can see what you need to do. Like uh, for this, you need a legendary bear pelt, which we have. And then you need perfect bull hide. So that's something else that you can go and collect. And yeah, so that, ladies and gentlemen, is how that works. Well, that's nice. Thanks, Mister. Two explore, so I 
took up my position by the keyhole in the door. The keyhole in the door. The keyhole. That everyone was Arthur Morgan singing an extremely rare event that you can just randomly find by playing the game a lot. I have played this game a lot and that is probably the third or fourth time I have ever heard Arthur Morgan sing a song as he's riding his horse. Super cool, super rare. Uh, you'll probably find it once, maybe twice in your entire playthrough. There is nothing that I know that actually sparks his singing and makes him want to sing. Perhaps being super happy, I don't know, but still super rare and I thought you guys might actually enjoy it. So here we are pounding leather, and we find a stranger who needs our help. Let us stop. My legs all numb. Please hurry. Oh, yes, yes. Just lift as hard as you can. Oh, thank you, thank you. You saved me. Sure. Oh, that was bad. Okay. Sure. I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor, dumb animal. Oh. What'll I tell Mildred? <sighs> Again, well, like I said, there are tons. Thank you. There are tons of things that you can do out here. Now, you can take home, which would be even better. I'm gonna quickly speed this it's up. It's selfish of me to ask, I know, but would you mind taking me home? Not sure if my leg will get me there. And we will just sure. accept it. Be happy to. Really? Thank you so much. Yep. Now oh, I'm sure she lives in. Do you know in Valentine? <laughs> Valentine? I live there. Of course. No problem. Yep. All right, so we are off to drop this good lady off in Valentine. And as soon as that's done, we'll be straight back. But this, I'm just gonna take the time to point out again, this story and uh, this um, solo uh, campaign is so full of stranger missions, people needing I don't normally help, travel this far alone, and you know. uh, a man, which you'll probably find out, uh, yeah. getting bit I was by a snake. About a possible new line of work. Um, but still, I I so a much. For the trip. See, in this my game. husband. Well, it's just me and my boy now, and it's hard to find work. Mm, I'm sure it is. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Not much work for a woman with a boy to raise. I won't work in no saloon, but I've got sharp eyes and quick hands. I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. A wealthy man said he'd pay me for the work. Sounds promising. Also doesn't sound real. Oh, you may be right, I suppose. He said he'd provide room and board for me and for my child. He wanted to meet me first. I'd be careful with offers like that, ma'am. I can't afford to dismiss offers like these, even if they do seem... odd. Just be careful is all I'm saying. Yeah. Again. Have another opportunity another like reason this. why Arthur is a good now man. Now I'll have to pay Mildred back for her horse. It sure sounds like you're in a hard position. You finding me is the only good thing that's happened to me in a long while, sir. And that is super sad. Happy Arthur found her. That's another thing I would like to point out. NPCs go out of their way to try and steer into you. And I know it seems like I'm, th that's something I would make up. If you play this game and you talk to anyone else who has ever played this game, they will agree with me. 
that NPC hey, horses and riders will try and hit you so that you go flying. I have seen it myself. We're here. Thank you for all your help. You're a good man. Glad I was able to help. Mm -hmm. Take care. Appreciate it. You'll be well. Ma'am, will you be all right from here? Hello there. I'll find my way. What's your problem? Thank you, sir. Just let me be. All right. Well, we delivered her safely to Valentine. Now on to the next mission. Here we are back in camp. Oh, as you see, there are some missions that can be done. We are now at level two body of our horse, which means now we can actually rear and do some slight tricks. Now, um, in the beginning of the video, or was that the beginning of the last video? Sorry if I forgot. I was going to tell you how to brush your horse. Dutch, I need you to do me a favor. Nothing too serious. I need you to help Herr Strauss. I've been working hard, Dutch. I know. And I know Strauss's business is not too glamorous, but it pays. Please, son, for me. <sighs> okay. Okay. Let's brush. Now, by holding left trigger, press to the left on your D-pad. And you'll bring out your brush. Now, by continually pressing this, you can see the horse just got extremely clean. And it's actually really good for the horse, too. This will also give you horse bonding points, which means that you can bond with your horse faster. And, yeah. Again, it makes you, well, at least your horse, look better. Now just release both left trigger and um, stop pushing over to the left on the d-pad and you'll be just fine. And you'll put it away. Let us start uncle's mission. Hey! Oh. Careful not to work yourself to death there uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses already. <laughs> you gonna take the old man into town? You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> Ladies are going to love it. Sure, you'll see. Real civilized. Let's go. All right, you know the way? Yeah, me and the boys got into a bit of a fight at the saloon there. <laughs> Already? Ooh, so all that talk about how hard you've been working. You mean drinking? <laughs> Yeah. Lady, sing us a song. Oh, 
I got lumbago. It's very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really? You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. You mean the only one that's far away? Now, of course, the horse Whoa, can be there. calmed Easy. by holding down left trigger. Easy. And now, of course, it says calm as in oh, press easy. X. You can slowly walk towards them. Uh, this is also a very, very good thing to know um, if you're going to try to get the legendary white horse. Oi. And I will do a video on that shortly. Gentlemen, sir, a gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. All right. Well, I hope he grabs that horse. Otherwise, that horse is going to run away a second time. Come on, let's go to Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother, there, Arthur. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one? And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs>